We would be honored if you would join us. Before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to the first episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwbacks for 2024. I'm excited about this year, I'm looking forward to continuing on with this series. So I thought I'd start with something a little bit cooler, something, something really cool, that's still awesome, but for sort of figure and vehicle pack coming from 2011, it is Castus and his speeder. We'll start off by looking at the card. Um, I do not have the packaging for this one, I don't keep the packaging for the... Uh, for the sort of boxed figures and stuff like that, that's, um, you know, getting a little bit too too difficult. Whereas card backs, I can sort of flatten them up and poke them away. So, yeah, it's just the instructions for the Galactic Battle Game. I did go through that a little bit more in detail when I did the review of Sergeant Brick with the Battle Game mat. I'll leave a link to that at the end of the video. So, yeah, there's Castus. Obviously, he is a... He is from Boba Fett's crew. He's part of Boba Fett's crew for a little while. But we'll take, firstly, we'll take a look at the speeder. I just want to get his articulation ready for him to stand up. So we'll get a look at the speeder. This is a pretty cool, it's an interesting design. It's, a, you know, it's got a sort of animated flair to it. Some cool features like the, uh, the sort of foot pedals there, they sort of kick back. Uh, this stand, which I did try and fix earlier. Um, the, I just sort of pushed it out in the plastic and started to sort of break apart just in there. So, so I'll keep the landing gear down just so I can, you know, display it standing up. Because, um, yeah, up until this point, I've just sort of had this in a container for, for many, many years. Um, just choosing to display casters you know, standing with the crew, but we're having a little bit more space now. I can uh, display him on the bike. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, there is some Orbesh on the front there. I did neglect to translate that. I'm, I did it in the past before, but yeah, I can't remember what it says. And yeah, unless I have a good close-up look with my glasses on, I can't really see. Um, but I do like the little... You know, sort of the side little turrets there that stick out on either side. That's cool. And yeah, just sort of the colour scheme with that sort of aqua, aqua blue. Sort of matching the, uh, the shirt of Castus there. So yeah, the, uh, handlebars do sort of move, move up and down. They sort of swivel around a bit. And swivel there as well. So you can have his hands wherever they need to be. So that's kind of cool. Some good pegs on the uh, landing gear there, the two, which will fit in his feet perfectly. Which is nice. It's a cool piece. And yeah, like I said, having it sitting aside for so many years and being able to actually take it out and put it on display with Castus is, is, is really cool. So let's get a look at the the ugly oaf. Beautiful figure of an ugly, ugly looking dude. <laughs> but that's cool. I like him a lot. I think he looks great. Uh, it's just that sort of whimsical side of Star Wars that I love. You know, he's got the sort of hunched shoulder. He's got one eye sort of closed shut. Got a bit of a snarl. And he's a Clatoonian. Yeah, you know, got the same sort of symbols on his chest and arms as he does there on the front of his bike, so that's cool. It does come with his big blaster pistol here, which it's almost big enough to be sort of power of the force <laughs> um, in terms of size, but he holds it well, fits in his fits in his holster well, which is cool. Let's get a nice close up of his of his mug. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I like him a lot. I think he looks great. So 
But yeah, like I said, this guy came out in 2011. So he's, uh, I don't know what he goes for on the secondary market now. It's, uh, there are a lot of Clone Wars figures that go for a lot, uh, thanks to the sort of resurgence in popularity of the Clone Wars. You know, once, once it sort of started streaming on Netflix a bunch of years ago, and then obviously making the shift to the Disney, Disney Plus, and, and then Disney finally, finally letting, letting Dave finish up the show with, uh, season seven. Obviously it's, it's taken a, taken a big second wind of popularity, which is great. And, uh, yeah, I honestly wouldn't be too sad to see more Clone Wars adventures in the future. Let me look around the back there. You can just kind of see his sort of upward shoulder there. But even just the sort of the paint on the hands, you can sort of see the whiteness of the knuckles. I love that. Nicely, nice detailing there. Articulation-wise, he does have a ball and socket head, ball hinge in the shoulders, ball hinge in the elbows, uh, swivels in the wrist, swivel at the waist, a hinge joint in the thighs there. You can get a little movement up there like that, just so you can get him to sit on the bike. He has got the ball hinge in the knees and no ankle articulation. But if you're going to have this guy sitting on the bike... And I'll try and mount him on there now. Really don't need the uh, truly don't need the ankles, just the way that the the feet are going to be positioned on here. So I'm just going to move his arms out. Let's see if we can get him to just sort of sit nicely. Hear that, Castus? Sit nicely. This means if I can get you set up. I'm going to put you straight back on the shelf as soon as I'm done. <laughs> so not the tightest fit of pegs, but, you know, they are, they're a big peg and they do fit in. Just, yeah, moving them around is a little tricky, but, uh, you know what, I will perfect this afterwards. But just for the sake of the video, we'll get him as close as I can to how I want him. And yeah, like I said, just the whole whimsy thing of this big, big sort of oaf, bounty hunter dude on this, you know, slightly small bike. It might be a little bit too small for him, but I don't know. I like it. I, th I think it's really cool. I like the look of him. And yeah, he sort of he sits on there nice. So I'll, I will perfect this once I'm not behind the camera. Get him all set up and ready to rock on on the Clone Wars shelf. So yeah, that's my that's my first video for 2024, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I'm glad people are enjoying this series. Uh, it's going to be a fun year of talking Clone Wars figures. Um, definitely got more than enough to get me through the year. If I can do once one a week, I'll be laughing. That would be fantastic. So yeah, Castus on his speeder bike. Fantastic. But yeah, please, if you enjoyed it, drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Do this once a week. Tomorrow I've got my episode of Power of the Force Friday coming up. First one for the year. So stay tuned for that one. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the Force be with you always.